I want you all to just quickly stand up on the count of three and just say your whole name so you can feel it. Your whole name, even a nickname your mama gave you. Don't be ashamed. Come on now, quickly. Quickly, quickly. On the count of three. On the count of three, we, I want you to just feel your whole name your mama gave you and your nickname and just say it. All right? One. Two. Three. that you probably read already in the um, program that Mary does not sell her hat. The only thing I like to do with my hat, I'm a hat collect, hat enthusiast, hat collector. My hats are like dolls to me, and your shoes and your dresses. So I don't sell them because you don't sell them. The only thing I do differently, I share my hobby. That's why you are here looking so beautiful in my hobby. So I aspire to make you feel good to, to, to have you reflect, self reflect, reflect on those nice days when mama was gone or grandma was gone and you know you couldn't wait and you just went into the dressing room and got the heels and the gloves and the hats, didn't you? So this is what I like to try to bring to an event to just make you feel good. I'm going to quickly say that in addition to what I already said about not selling the hats, um, how I got started and why I ask you if you believe dreams come true is because I'm from South Georgia, uh, Byronville, Georgia, very small place, cotton picking, I used to do that. Uh, and I used to hear the women talk about uh, after they knock off that Saturday, they're going to put on lay away the biggest, finest hat to wear, what we call a long time ago, and you all probably refer to today as. Um, what are y'all, family reunions, but we call it big meeting, the big meeting days when we used to serve food out of the boxes. How many of you remember those days? <laughs> That's okay, so, but at any rate, sure enough, those women would wear those big, beautiful hats uh, that they purchased uh, the first time in August, and they would not, when they come into church, I was a little girl about seven, eight years old, they come into church strutting, and, um, uh, you know, looking way to the uh, front of the church, almost in front of the preacher. The preacher would have envisioned this. The preacher would be have his black robe on, kind of healthy, with those real heavy uh, handkerchiefs like those tablecloths. I remember those days in the sweat because we didn't have air conditioning. But at any rate, these women would be in there with these big, beautiful hats on and sitting on the benches and a little girl trying to see the preacher because he's up there preaching and couldn't because uh, the hats would block my vision. So when the preacher would get up there talking, if the hats are the ladies, but the hats were talking, if they agreed with whatever the preacher said, they would do this here. Remember that? And if they didn't agree with what the preacher had to say, they would do. That was that hat. See how that hat moved? And if they kind of saw them, agree or disagree with the preacher, it would be like, you know, like that. Or it could be really sensitive. The preacher would get up there and kind of talk about those loved ones that, uh, that had, you know, gone on. And it would be kind of sensitive in an emotional life. Then you would see the, the women of the church sit. And, and as they would be singing, they would do this with the hat. So being a little girl, I would watch that stuff. And I always promise myself, when I get to be a big girl, make lots of money, I would own some of those big hats. That was my dream. And I tell people dreams do come true because I have them, but I don't have lots of money. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not that woman anymore Content to be a man that's at the door Agreeing to just